Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim sallallahu alaihi wasallam hi there welcome again i am your host tohid mia from hmtmcsc.com in grills tutorial part 2 we are going to cover grills jquery and bootstrap integration let's follow the steps in first step we are going to learn about grills asset pipeline asset library plugin I wrote some notes into my website about that asset pipeline. I also shared this link into description so if you want then you can visit it this link. Okay, if I summarize this document then asset pipeline allow project to pre-process less or says for CSS, coffee script, etc. it perform crucial role in production by minify static resources and development mode make sure browser not cache static resources in asset pipeline two file is very crucial the one is application.js which is contain other javascript files reference and the other file is application.css which also contain other css files reference step 2 for understand layout and view details i created a block diagram for diagram for you let me show the block diagram this is the block diagram here you are seeing in left side it's a calling sidebar and top it calling header and here you are seeing the red area which is hold the full screen and the right side you are seeing the view that's why we are calling this header and footer probably this header and footer is static for various space that's why we are calling this layout and this blue area we are calling view if i give you a practical example then let's go to our my website is in tmcc.com here you are seeing this is the navigation bar in top and the left bar in left if i click on any of link then it will changing the right panel only but left point panel and header is constant so we may call if any area of a website which is static for certain pages then we may call them layout and the right panel which is changing according to navigation or context this area we can call view in our next 3 and 4 step i put here download and configuration link of jquery and bootstrap 4 I am showing jQuery and Bootstrap link here because Grails project comes along with jQuery and Bootstrap. That's why we have no need to configure this jQuery and Bootstrap. But if you want or if you need to upgrade or downgrade uh, your jQuery or Bootstrap, then you can follow these two link and download the jQuery, also the Bootstrap, and you can. integrate to your project that's why i show this to link now let's create a javascript file and then add project start point javascript object for that i am going to our project this is our project which we create earlier here you are seeing under the grails directory is a assets directory this is actually the asset line pi pipeline asset pipeline Uh, resources directory here you are seeing one directory images the other one is javascript and the last one is style sheet if we want to add any of javascript then we have to put that javascript into our javascript directory if we want to add any css then uh, please put the css into style sheet directory now i am going to create a file called ocb.js o c b because of online content contacts book.js 
this is a basic JS I am creating here for in our next session we will add some of JavaScript option from here I am creating a empty object of JavaScript O O C B online contacts books then this is the empty object don't worry about empty object JavaScript object not a complex thing if I get time then I will show you how to JavaScript object is working here we just created the ocb.js but it will not include our project automatically we have to add this ocb into our application.js now I am going to add that ocb into our application.js here I am adding that ocb under this for proper mean here I am adding that ocb.js this line will automatically add it our OCP JavaScript into our project. If I go to front end and go to view source code, see if I search, try to search OCB, here nothing we can find. But if I reload this project once and go to source again and try to search, see now the ocv.js is added into our project so this way we can add javascript file into our project the step 5 is 5 is completed now i am going to 6 configure navigation and layout with bootstrap here we saw the layout basic of a project now I am going to show you what is layout in Grails perspective I wrote a documentation or description of layout Grails I will add this description into into our uh, video description link here you are seeing layouts Grails layouts this is the static part of Grails project in this layout we got three important Grails taglib that is G clone layout head, G clone layout body, and layout title. Let's go to practical. Here, under the Grails project, you you will get a directory named view. Under views, you will get a directory layouts. This is the main layout. This layout we are going to use for our navigation creation and basic layout creation here you're seeing lots of code we will not going to use all of code from here we just add our specific code and here you are seeing the asset pipeline style sheet are added in our head and also if you see then here is the application.js came with asset pipeline okay now I'm going to remove this section and also remove the body section okay now if I go into front end and reload it then it's completely broken and I also if I remove this layout body then the view will be disappear let's see what happened I remove this one also and going to reload see nothing in our view now I am going to configure the header part for that I collected some HTML from bootstrap side and preserved it here of a text file so that we have no need to worry about this HTML structure because we are not going to emphasize with HTML structure in this project because this is basically related to Grails that's why I'm cut this part and going to paste it to our body here this is the header section I put here now I'm going to reload this in front end see the Grails online content book header is came okay after that we are going to add the body section from this note 
I'm going to cut this dome structure and paste it to here in our layout. This section will create a left sidebar and this is the body which is allowed to bring view to layout. Okay, go to front end. I'm going to reload it. See, again the view section is came and the navigation is here but we are seeing the navigation is little bit broken for fix this a uh, broken thing we have to put some css into our project so let's go again the asset style sheet here you are seeing that in application css it is a crucial part for our application so this is very important and the bootstrap three thing but here I am seeing mobile main rails error no need this CSSS so I am deleting this CSSS yes delete away ok now I am going to remove from our application dot CSS also this three ok now I'm going to create another CSS for our project so that we can fix that broken issue. I'm calling this CSS is style dot CSS. Yes, it's created and I added also in our Git. So now I'm going to add this style dot CSS into our application by clicking Control D. It will just duplicate the line and adding that style.css style this will added our css like our javascript so now i have to write some of css code here but i am not a expert of uh, style sheet that's why i collected css from uh, outside and i noted those those css to in our uh, noted in in my text file i am copying this css and going to paste it our style.css now let's go to front end what happened here I am by reloading this see it's take a shape so here you are seeing the header and the sidebar here the view I know where the view is came from so let's modify this view to our specific skeleton here you are seeing in title bar it's showing welcome to grails if i go to layout from here here you are seeing here added one default title that is grails but it's not showing yes it it will not show if any view added their title into their page then it will override by the view but i am here adding the title Grails online contacts book now I'm going to view I know this view came from where that's why I'm modifying this it came from the index.jsp here I'm reviewing all of content then give a reload see this is empty so I am describing view two thing that is the title if I remove this title from here then you will see the layout title will be appear here see this is the layout layout title ok the another part is that here you are seeing meta name layout and content main actually this is specifying the that in this view which layout we are going to use for index view we are going to use our main layout which we configured earlier that's why it including this view if I remove this here and going to reload then let's see what happened see there is no layout because we not included any layout into our page if I write a message that is
Bismillah. Girls online contact book view and going to reload it here. See the view description is came here. Again, if I remove that layout, so what will happen? If I reload it, see the only view data is here. No layout belong here. That's why this meta tag is very very important. Yes, this is our project basic skeleton or basic view. In this part two, we covered all of a step. So I think we learn from step two how to configure a Grails basic layout. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will describe step three, four and more on in our next video. Thanks again.